Hello YouTubers, welcome to back to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. I'm continuing my Cyborg NASAC lab environment creation. In my previous video, I already set up Vault. We created domain controller with email server, syslog server, NDP server, certification server as well. We also installed the PVWA that's our first PVWA. In the future, we will install a second PVWA and we will do load balancing. In this lab, I'm going to quickly install CPM, Central Policy Manager. And the lab will be only CPM in our environment right now. In the future, once we install PVWA 2, then we will install CPM 2, then we can have kind of load balancing between those two CPMs. I will not do any hardening right now. We will have hardening episode after we finished all basic module. Then we will have one specific hardening videos for all of those components we installed. And also we will do integration, LDAPS integration, email server integration, syslog NTP and we also will do LDAP login for the vault in the future we may try Nadius and we will also use in PSMP and maybe PSM HTM5 installation as well for now let's start to install our first CPM As usual, I always start with my blog post, which I summarized all related documents and the steps for installing CPM. It includes my lab diagram, installation task overview diagram, and you, can, you will find the official document from CyberArk doc website. Strongly suggest to take a look at those documents before you start your installation. It will take time, but it's worth to read them through. I also put the reports and protocols here. When your PVWA and the CPM has installed uh, on separate servers, then one thing you need to remember, you may want to keep your CPM close to your target as possible as you can and then PVWA close to your users as possible as you can. That's something you may want to think about it. When you do designing your CPMs, you can have active passive, active active designs. So in this lab, I may start it, uh, my second CPM installation once we finish our basic components and then we will do the load balancing. CPM Win, CPM Unix, those are typical active, active setup. The installation prerequisite also installation steps. There's two different type of installation uh, procedures. One is using the uh, installation wizard, and another is using the uh, script. Using the wizard will be much easier. So that's what I'm using. So as said, uh, I already installed PVWA before I logged in. You can see the system health. I'm using VMware workstation. I have installed the domain controller, vault, domain controller has installed the email server, syslog server, and the CA server. So now let's go back to the, our PVWA server right now. As you can see, I already copied the CPM installation files to the local and also extracted into the subfolder. Based on our installation prerequisite, you may want to check your system update status and the software requirement, we're going to run CPM pre-installation script. This script going to 
validifies.net version set as SSL TLS configuration no since. Go to installation automation folder. Open Windows PowerShell as administrator. Set execution policy to bypass. It's going to finish it very quickly in a couple of seconds if um, operation succeed and it succeed. So after that, we're going to just um, right click our setup exe file, run as administrator. And you got the welcome screen, that's a wizard for the installation. Click next. Yes. Type company name. Next. Usually keep the default destination folder. No changes on those folders. So here you need to decide your environment. So there's two options. No policy manager was previously installed. And or you are, this is an update. So in this lab, this is first CPM. So no policy manager was installed. Uh, now you need to tell the world address, which you always can find from your diagram. 192.168.111.21 That's my world IP. Next. Now you need to provide your world administrator password. Now it's creating a world environment. We're going to install a couple of new safe for CPM. We are going to check that after the installation. There's an error message when they're trying to import platforms failed. So then they're asking to import platform manually. So they even ask you to check the log information. Let's connect next. That's fine. Finished. We're going to check the services. You should be able to see CyberArk Central Policy Manager services has been automatically started. 
password manager. Those two services has been started automatically. We're going to log back into our PVWA. You are able to see CPM has been added into the system health dashboard. There's a one user app user instance and the one connected. Let's go back to Vault. Check those new created saves for the CPM. So the gateway connection has been disconnected since we logged in with PVWA. That connection has been disconnected. We are able to log in here. You should be able to say password manager related uh, saves has been created here. So that's pretty much everything for this video. It shows you how to install CPM, very simple, easy steps to follow. Once you've done installation, you should be able to verify the system health from PVWA dashboard. Thank you for watching. As usual, if you like this video, give me a thumb up to support me and also subscribe channel if you haven't. See you in my next episode.